There are two more talks. <laughs> uh, the next one is by Lizette Shear, and it is a lightning talk. Um, Lizette works for the Leitar County District, the, the Leitar County Library District, as a system administrative specialist. She's also the current president of the Koha US Users Group, which is a very um, large and well attended group. During her free time, Lizette enjoys puzzles, games, spending time with her partner and her cat. Um, so the talk is Life Since Portland Koha Con 2018. And um, we're looking forward to hear what Koha US are up to. Thank you, Lizette. Hello all, I'm Lizette Shear, the current president of the Koha US Users Group. I wanted to update you all on what we've been up to since we last saw you in Portland for KohaCon 2018. The first thing I wanted to talk to you about today was our user groups. All our user groups get access to Google Groups for messaging, access to the Zoom meeting, and publicity on our website. We currently have two types of interest groups. We currently have two types of users groups. First, special interest groups. We have seven special interest groups, including acquisitions, cataloging, consortia, demonstration, system administration, user services, and web development. Each of these special interest groups meets regularly, and the meetings are designed to welcome people who want to talk about different aspects of Koha. They're very popular, and you don't have to be a member, or even in the U.S., to join. We also have one leisure special interest group, Book and Crafting Club, who meet one day a month after hours to discuss a book while they craft, or not craft if you don't want to. We have also opened up to regional interest groups, where if there are many libraries in a state or area, such as North Texas, they can set up a Google group and post on their website, as well as use our Zoom room for meetings should they desire. We also list already established regional user groups on this page, such as the Kansas Koha Regional User Group. We've had three conferences since the Portland Conference in 2018. Last September in 2019, we had our annual fall conference in Pueblo, Colorado, and our theme was Patron Power, Enable Your Users. We had 70 people register for the conference. Here is a picture of all of us outside the public library. In the spring of 2020, we had our first ever Kohathon, an online conference that we had been planning on doing for a couple of years. We didn't ask people to register, but on the day of our conference, our live streams on YouTube had over 1180 views, so we count it as a success. In the fall of 2020, we had another conference, the Online Together Conference. We had over 250 registrants and a lot of great presentations. The first day, two days were conferences, and for the third day we did our first ever Bugapalooza. We started the day with a sandboxes webinar, and then every half hour we did uh, like focused bug talks. So we started with acquisitions talks, and we had bugs prepared from our general meetings as well as our acquisition user group meetings and we talked about those and encouraged people to come and talk about acquisitions related bugs during that time. We had different sections for each of our different interest groups and it was quite a success. Another thing I want to talk to you about today is membership. Our membership has grown from 32 paid members in 2018, the same year as the Portland Conference, to this year we're up to 82 paid members. We've also had a lot of growth in the community engagement, especially with the special interest groups. We've got even more going on. We also got our own Zoom account instead of using a member Zoom account, which allowed us the ability to do more with those special and regional user groups. We also have a demo instance set up at demo.coha-us.org, thanks to Bywater Solutions. And we have a Threadless shop with some sweet Koha US merch available at Koha US, all one word, dot threadless dot com. Since Portland, our Koha edu our education committee oh, really overhauled the Learn From Us page on the website. Up at the top here, we have our links to 
different sections of the website, followed by a quick reference guide, which were made by members of the Kohai U.S. Education Committee, and we're working on some more, including one for template toolkit and notices. Below this, we've got different sections, such as how to set up Koha, how to customize Koha, and how to use Koha. Some of these link to specific pages on our website that we've created for this purpose, which link out to different Koha resources on the web. Some of them just link specifically to resources on the web or to the manual, depending on what we've got. We've also got links to the manual and links to join the user groups if there's a relevant user group for that particular page. We also have videos listed of different videos available. We are planning on adding more of the presentation videos from various conferences to these pages. Beneath the modules section, we also have links to our new features of our Koha US original training videos and our links to the Koha International Community uh, options such as the IRC, mailing lists, Bugzilla, and down at the bottom here we have links to all of our past conferences. So what's next for Koha US? We've got elections upcoming later this year in November for some of our board members, board positions. We're also moving forward on our first development and updating the development process so it can go smoother and be more clear for both our members and the development committee. We're also planning Kohathon 2021 for next spring for dates and more information on that. Our annual conference was going to be in McKinney this year but due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we had to switch to the online format. Next year, we're planning on running, running the conference in McKinney, September 20th to 23rd, and we hope to see you there. Thank you so much for attending this presentation. I've put links to Co-op US social media. You can contact me through at president at coha-us.org through the end of the year. You can find our website at koha-us.org. You can find us on Twitter at koha-us, all one word. On YouTube at youtube.com slash koha-us. On Threadless at koha-us.threadless.com. And I'm in the IRC as Lizette Leta. I should be joining you shortly for a live Q&A. Thanks, everyone.